Welcome again to Chemistry 105. This is LLE5, a demonstration of oxidation and reduction reactions. So here are the directions for this particular LLE. Propose a chemical reaction for the steel wool experiment. Number two, propose a chemical reaction for the instant hand warmer reaction. And number three, in your discussion, compare these two reactions. How are they different and how are they similar? For the first chemical reaction, we're actually going to look at the reaction of steel wool in our atmosphere. Uh, and it will be initiated using a nine volt battery. For reaction number two, the most of the reactants are found inside a commonly available hand warmer packet and if we take a look at the ingredient list on this we will see so for the first chemical demonstration what we're going to do is take a small tuft of the steel wool this is quadruple zero ultra fine steel wool uh, and we're going to simply touch the tuft of the steel wool with a 9 volt battery and you can see this reaction takes place very vigorously. And there, still going. In order to give you another clue as to how this reaction proceeds, I'm going to do the reaction one more time and I'm going to add one other variable. I'm going to blow on this piece of steel wool after I ignite it. So, here comes the battery. For the instant heat hand warmers, I want you to recognize the fact that it says that it lasts 10 hours, that it is a disposable warm pack, and that it offers all sorts of suggested uses, and it says it is non-toxic, odorless, and air activated. As we take a look at the directions, the directions state to open outer package and remove warmer, shake gently, Place warmer where warmth is needed. It says warmer must be covered to work properly. Store in a cool dry place. Keep package sealed until ready to use. If not completely used, reseal in an airtight container for later use. The average temperature of this pack gets up to 124 degrees Celsius and its maximum temperature could get as high as 156 degrees Celsius. The contents are iron powder, active carbon, water, vermiculite, and salt. Uh, 